What if the emotions you feel are the fears you fight, the anxieties you can't explain, aren't fully yours? Science now says your DNA might be carrying memories, biological ones, from before you were even born. Let's dive into the shocking truth. You were born with more than a genetic code. You may have inherited echoes of experiences, memories of trauma, survival, even love, that your ancestors lived through. It may sound mystical, but it's pure science. This is called epigenetic inheritance, and it's changing everything we thought we knew about heredity. According to traditional genetics, your DNA acts like a master script, quietly orchestrating how your body functions. But epigenetics adds a twist. Your genes can be tagged or silenced based on your experiences. These are not mutations. Your DNA isn't rewritten, but how it's read is changed. And here's the shocker. These changes can be passed down. Yes, what your grandparents ate, feared, or endured might still live inside your body. Let's talk about the mouse study that shocked the scientific world. In 2013, scientists at Emory University exposed male mice to the smell of cherry blossoms. Paired with a mild electric shock, the mice quickly learned to fear that smell. But then something incredible happened. Their offspring, who had never been exposed to the scent or shock, showed fear to the same cherry blossom smell. This fear was passed down biologically through sperm. That's not just a response, that's memory. But this doesn't just happen in mice. Let's go back to World War II. During the Dutch hunger winter of 1944, food supplies were cut off and people, including pregnant women, were starving. Years later, researchers found that babies born during that famine had higher risks of obesity, heart disease, and diabetes. And their DNA had epigenetic changes in genes related to growth and metabolism. Even their children, the grandchildren, showed health effects from a famine they never experienced. Now let's look at emotional inheritance. In 2015, researchers studied children of Holocaust survivors. These children had no direct experience of the trauma their parents endured, yet they had biological changes in a stress-related gene called FKBP5. Their stress hormone levels were different. It was as if their bodies still remembered the trauma. So the big question is, if fear, stress, or disease can be inherited, are we just passengers of the past? The answer, no. Epigenetics doesn't determine your destiny, it guides it. Your genes may carry the marks of history, but you can write the next chapter. Studies now show that things like mindfulness, healthy habits, and even exercise can change your gene expression. You can literally reshape your epigenome and maybe even pass those changes to your children. Here's how. Exercise activates genes tied to better brain function and mood. A healthy diet can suppress inflammation genes and boost longevity markers. Meditation and mindfulness reduce stress-related gene expression. Even positive parenting can affect your child's emotional biology, and their child's too. Now scientists are looking into whether these biological memories can explain why some people have specific phobias they've never been exposed to, why certain instincts seem to run in families, why dreams sometimes feel like echoes from another life. We may be on the edge of understanding memory in a completely new way, not just in the brain, but in the body. So what does this mean for you? It means your health, emotions, and habits might carry the fingerprints of those who came before you, but it also means that you have the power to change what comes next. You're not just a product of your DNA, you're an editor of it. Every healthy decision you make, every healing action you take, could ripple forward through generations. Your DNA doesn't just carry your traits, it may carry your ancestors' hopes, traumas, and instincts. But most importantly, you have the power to change the story. And drop a comment. What's one thing you believe your ancestors passed down to you?